Protecting the world's endangered species has brought representatives from more than 180 nations to Geneva. Governments and NGOs gathering for the UN's World, Life Conference, world Wildlife Conference on Trade and Endangered Species, or CITES. Experts warn an acceleration in wildlife extinction is pushing nature into an unprecedented and dangerous decline. The 10-day meeting looks at ways of regulating the buying and selling of species and minerals at risk of extinction or over-harvesting. Joining me here in Washington is Mira Kohenha. She's uh, Korenha. She is the co-founder and publisher of Our Daily Planet. That's an independent environmental news service. And Mira, earlier this year, the UN report, a UN report warned that over one million uh, species of plants and animals were facing extinction. That suggested that governments aren't acting quick enough to stop it. So what? are they doing and what aren't they doing? Certainly. Well, a large part of that species extinction is being driven by the fact that wildlife trafficking, overuse of land, and exploitation of species is occurring at an alarming rate. So part of what CITES is, tries to do is use the mechanisms of trade to ensure that conservation is happening. And, you know, this is the first meeting since that landmark UN report came out. So I think this is a really crucial time to pay attention to the conversations that are going to come out of the CITES meeting. You talked about trade. We know that China is very proud of its efforts to combat poaching. We talked about mm -hmm. its efforts in uh, uh, the ivory ban. Do you think Beijing can do more given its domestic demand, but also its amplified regional voice and international voice? Certainly. And, you know, I, I think that it's going to come down to what kind of support that African nations can receive, because many nations like South Africa, for instance, they want to sell stockpiles of ivory that they currently have, which many international people in the environmental community worry that that will lead to the black market selling illicit ivory under the guise of it being CITES certified. So I think that, you know, what what we'll see is how China can can support these other nations in this in this COP that's happening right now. CITES certified. We're talking about this logo that appears on shipments. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what it means and how it works? Certainly. So CITES has three different classifications for for wildlife, for plants and minerals, depending on the severity of how endangered these plant and animal species are. So for Appendix 1, for instance, that full-out bans trade. Appendix 2, there is some trade allowed. And Appendix 3 is, you know, a, a slightly lower classification. So it, it, it goes to show that when the certification is there that the good that is being sold and traded on an international market is certified that it's not exploiting species in the wild and leading to their endangerment. There is an American delegation there mm -hmm. in Geneva, mm -hmm. uh, including diplomats appointed by Donald Trump. He just revealed that he wants to strip down the Endangered Species Act here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, how does the, all that come together? So for, for CITES, a lot of the enforcement of conservation is led, is led to the nations domestically. So I think the Endangered Species Act is really our enforcement mechanism here domestically for how we can curb exploitation of species. And the Trump administration worked to really diminish the Endangered Species Act last week. And I think that we still need to wait and see how that will affect species that are on CITES lists. What sort of species do you think our viewers, anybody out there watching, might be surprised to find uh, that are particularly in danger? So funny enough, for the first time ever in CITES, Israel is proposing that the ivory from woolly mammoths be listed, so an extinct species. But the worry is that as permafrost thaws and as these mammoths are able to be uncovered, that when their ivory is sold um, and, and labeled as mammoth ivory, it might actually be endangered elephant ivory. So that's kind of a surprising fact coming out of these CITES uh, negotiations. Woolly mammoths there uh, mm -hmm. uh, being protected. Mm -hmm. uh, Miro uh, Corena, I want to thank you for coming yeah. and joining us. And thank, thank you, you so much. Time.